Happy Saturday, everybody. Someone reached out on Twitter and asked me to look into investors here at Nashville. Now, I've pulled one of the largest investors in Nashville. Man, do they own a ton of houses. I'm going to tell you how they're doing, or at least how I think they're doing, and it surprised me. Now, we are going to do a, a Nashville housing update here. I'm going to hit a couple counties, show you some inventory and pricing dynamics. My name is Ethan Flynn. I am a CPA and a licensed real estate agent. I love helping people find homes to buy, but in this market, unless you're a cash buyer or you have some awesome strategy like mortgage assumption, it really doesn't make a lot of sense to buy. So I encourage people to not buy unless you are a cash buyer. But I just, it's, this is a very bad time to buy for most people. So let's take a look at the data. Okay, first things first. Uh, Larry Summers puts odds of a U.S. recession at 25% in the first half of 2024. Now, he acknowledged in this interview, which I thought was extremely interesting, that we don't even know when we're in a recession, when we're in it, and it has started. It's only a couple of quarters afterwards that we actually realize it. The, the, guy's, the guy has been right on everything that he has talked about so far. And so I really, really listen to him because even when I disagree with him, I'm like, ah, I think we're in a recession. He, uh, putting a recession at 25% seems very optimistic to me. Now, we just saw Citi uh, do a big layoff. We are starting to see a lot of Q4 reorgs and smaller layoffs like what happened at Amazon. But in the end, is this going to create, you know, uh, unemployment, continuing claims to continue to go higher? I don't know. I mean, a lot of the strikes just ended and they were thousands and thousands of employees in those strikes. So is it going to change anything? I don't know. It's a good question. That being said, here in Nashville, what we see is that the median price is around 470. And this is current. This is a pool today. And you can see it was 472 at the end of October. We're actually seeing very stable price trends, very stable price trends. Uh, it's not going up. It's not going down. There may be a little bit more on the concession side than there was maybe a, a month or two ago, but it's really not a whole lot more. Prices are stable. This is actually really surprising to me. And this is also, as our active listings kind of hit, I want to say a new high. We hit a new high last week, but now we're just stabilizing right around that 6,400 mark. And the reason this is important is because at 6,400, we are actually over what we were last year. And, and so what this means to me is that even in all price bands, we're starting to see inventory hit new year over year highs or right at it. And you can see on, on the under 700s, we were right at where we were last year in December and it's trending up. This is a very positive sign for those of you looking for affordable housing. It looks to me like we're gonna hit a new year over year high. When we look at a million plus, a million plus was shooting up vertically up until June and then it just kind of stabilized. Now, I kind of wonder if it stabilized because of new builds, I'm not really sure, but nonetheless, we are stabilized right at about 1,500 active listings and when we do look at discounts, this top chart right here, discounts by price band, what we can see is that the discounts were about 30% last year for a million plus, and they were almost 50% last year for under 700s. Okay, that was, by, that was on December 5th. That's when I started doing daily, so I, I don't have anything before that. But we can see we are a lot lower this year. We're, we're barely pushing 40%, which is still a lot, by the way, guys, for discounts. This is list price is less than original list price, 40%. And for 700 to a million, we're just over that 40% mark. Uh, but the point is, here's what I want you to see. We're actually a lot more stable than we were last year. Even as these discounts pick up, we're a lot more stable than, there were, than we were last year. Now, there are a few soft areas. Starting to see softness in Davidson County. Our under a million inventory is starting to hit a five-year high in Davidson County. This is this is great, guys. This is great. This is bringing back affordability. And uh, you can see... It just touched where our high was in November of 22. We were at 15. We were at 15.22. We're just above that here at the end of October at 15.56. And I do think when we look at Davidson County, we are going to continue to see uh, new highs. In fact, let's just look at Davidson County real quick. Okay, you can see again we're peaking out at 21.21 here in Davidson County. It's not going up. It's not going down. It's staying stable even as contract volume has been dropping. This has created a really good price dynamic for people wanting to buy. Now, I know it just creates a better leverage for buyers. It's, it's, it's essentially in certain price dynamics, it is a buyer's market. And we had, I just went a contract just yesterday on a property that, you know, being a buyer in a market where contract volume's down and inventory's up, it gives you advantages 
where you can make, you can take your time. My buyer took his time. Uh, he, he spent over a week analyzing this house before we came up with an offer that would actually work with both buyer and seller. And you can't do that in seller's markets. In seller's markets, it's just wow. And, and this house wasn't priced, it wasn't priced bad. It was priced right, in my opinion, the list price. So the fact that he was able to wait, look at it, think about it, ask questions, those are good dynamics for buyers. Now, I wanna show you this. ReVenture posted this, check out this rental in Williamson County in Brentwood. And he was saying, oh, they tried to rent it, couldn't rent it, now it's for sale. I'm actually seeing a lot of that in Franklin. I showed you one just a couple of weeks ago in Franklin. But I had someone say, hey, could you look at Corp Investment? I picked Progress Residential. Now, Progress Residential owns 2,500 homes in just Davidson, Wilson, and Rutherford County. That's the southeast and southeast of Nashville and the core of Nashville, 2,500 homes. That is a ton of houses, guys. That's a ton of houses. So I zoomed in on just Murfreesboro. They have 1,007 here in Murfreesboro. Okay, 1,007. Here's what's interesting. When we look at the thousands, it, when we look at Murfreesboro, I searched for Murfreesboro on Progress's website. I found 32 active listings. Okay, now here's the thing you gotta think about. If they only have 32 active listings, and there's 1,007 that they own. That's a 97% occupancy. Okay, so I did find one as I was sampling these that I thought was interesting. And you can see they listed it for rent for $19.99. They've already dropped it to $19.75, which is 1%. So what makes this interesting is this is lower than what they had last year. So they're now seeing potentially a softness in rental rates. Now, is it because it's November versus October last year? Maybe, but it kind of makes you wonder, are rents dropping. I think, in my personal opinion, the fact they have a 97% occupancy, the fact that rents have been much more stable, in my opinion, this year than last year, it, it, it again hits the narrative that Nashville across the board is more stable right now in general. I would say the only area that I'm seeing right now where there's particularly softness is those areas I called out like the Nations, the Charlotte Park, you know, you go across the river at East Nashville, some of the houses in there where there's just stacked inventory, you're starting to see softness, softness in rent. Uh, that's what it feels like. But in general, we're seeing a pretty stable market in here. This surprised me, but progress, progress is stable. They're stable. It's not a disaster. And so I'd love to hear what you think. If you think I'm wrong, please tell me. I would love you guys show me where I'm wrong. But what I'm seeing is just a very stable housing market. It surprises me. Now, I do want to hit a couple other counties just so you can see what's going on because I do think contract volume is extremely important right now. And you can see contract volume tanking in Rutherford. We're at 27, uh, 277. The low was January 2nd at 251. So are we going to hit a new low? Maybe in Rutherford County. Um, we're 935 where we were last year coming out of the new year. We were at 1,057. So again, if we're hitting new lows, it's going to be pretty close. It, it feels stable. You know, Sumner County, 769. We were at 783 just a month ago. So we haven't broken a new high in Sumner. Go back to last year and we are about 100 listings higher than we were in December. So this tells me that Sumner may be a little bit softer, but look at contract volume. Contract volume, 248. Last year coming out, we were at 164. So we've got some pretty significant contract volume that's higher. I mean, we troughed at 215. We've been going up. Wilson, 547 on active listings. Actually, Wilson's been very stable in terms of active listings this year. It's just been right around 550, just almost all year long. And you go back, we actually had more inventory last year. We had almost 600 coming in December. And contract volume 183 versus last year in December, we were at 150. So Wilson's actually like in terms of demand, pretty strong. In general, what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing is a much more stable environment. It doesn't appear that December is gonna be lower than December of last year in closed volume. Unless something changes, unless we do get that you know, recession that Larry Summers is talking about, unless it becomes more evident, it doesn't appear that Nashville has anything that is, is causing you know, major changes to the pricing dynamic. It's just not happening. So surprise, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. You know, mortgage rates are in the seven, they're sustained in the seven. You thought like, Matt, you know, mortgage rates dropped so much. And there was this narrative of the narratives that I've been hearing, contract cancellation like crazy, discounts like crazy, uh, mortgage demand picks up as mortgage rates drop. I, I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that. But guys, correct me. Believe me, when, when I'm saying this stuff, I am totally open to being wrong. So you guys tell me what you're seeing. Hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next Saturday.